It's the toast of the town. The traditional Singaporean breakfast of kaya toast and kopi has proved a roaring success for Yakun Kaya Toast, and it's no surprise. The homely treats and beverages sold here are favorite among many locals. Yakun was first founded in 1944 by Mr. Loy Akun at Telok Ayer Basin. When his children took the reins in 1998, that was when business began to flourish. Fast forward to today, Yakun International now has 31 outlets here. And it has expanded beyond our shores, with outlets in Indonesia, Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, Philippines, and Vietnam. So now we'll be talking to Mr. Adrian Loy, managing director of Yakun International, to find out what his company is doing to ride out the recession. Uh, for Yakun business as a whole, for the last few months, even though there's a recession, uh, economic crisis, uh, we don't really, we are not really affected in a sense because our target um, still uh, within those spend, those can spend within the the means. Uh, so our overall are not so affected as compared to those high end uh, spending, high end coffee change. Uh. In fact, Mr. Loy tells me he's heightening his company branding during the downturn. A move he says will benefit the company in the long term. This is true. A lot of them, uh, even at this time of crisis, they they spend a lot of time building the brand. You know, when times uh, when the economy recover, they they are really full swing to to move on. You see, but also uh, the adverse effect is that uh, some of them spend too long at this time, and then at the time when the the economy upturn, and then they are really exhausted. They might even lose all the value at, at the end. So there's two ways of looking at it. it. Depends on the situation as well. Mr. Loy has so far implemented a slew of measures recently to maintain and even boost sales, and that includes keeping prices affordable and coming up with new products to entice customers, new and old. Of course, during this time, of course, we wanted to make sure that、um, people can afford. Also,、uh, we try to have a lot of promotion. You know, cut down some of the prices and also make sure that people can afford, which is one of our aims, and then to also help out the economy as well. So one of the ways to have some promotion, which is ongoing, and also we have、uh, coming up with some new product as well. Basically, on the menu itself, we have new drinks as well, and then we thought of having some cookies,、uh, affordable cookies, so that people can go along with their drinks, you know, and also with the toast、uh, at times. And one of the things, the、uh, cookies that we plan to do is to. To put on display, properly、uh, design, packed in proper uh, proper con- uh, pack- packaging, and then and also we make sure that we want to give the customer, you know,、uh, for 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 a good deal lah. That means every cup of drinks they off- ordered, we will put a, a cookies beside that. So this is one of the strategy, and of course we also think of some other plans like opening a new concept. But that、uh, at this time we were thinking、uh, maybe not so, but wait until the the economy is better. So even if kopi and kaya is not your cup of tea, there's a whole smorgasbord of breakfast treats for customers to choose from. You know, some people will come in and、um, patronize. They can remember the brand actually in a sense. So they come back and then they ask for more, something more with varieties. And the varieties is spice of life. And of course,、um, the other one is to make sure that.、Uh, Um, they 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 are loyal to us, like in the sense that we have more something new to them instead of sticking to the old stuff. But if you want to know what sort of challenges Mr. Lloyd faces and whether expanding your business during the downturn is a risky move, don't go away. We'll bring you the details in our next segment of Bright Spots in Dark Time.